You've probably heard about the rediscovery recently of a painting by Leonardo da Vinci, the saviour of the world or the Salvatore Mundi, which has got the art world in a complete lather of excitement. Well, it's also got us pretty excited, but for very different reasons. We wrote a book in which we argued that the Shroud of Turin, which is believed by many to be the actual burial cloth of Jesus, which has been miraculously imprinted with his image, was actually faked by Leonardo da Vinci. We concluded not only that Leonardo had created the shroud, but also that he'd made the image using what is a very early photographic technique. Not only that, we also believe that Leonardo used himself as the model for the man on the shroud. So if we are right, and of course we believe that we are, when we look at the Turin Shroud, what we are actually looking at is a 500-year-old photograph of Leonardo da Vinci. Well, you're probably sitting there thinking, yeah, right. And admittedly, put so bluntly and so briefly, it does sound rather off the wall. But we did actually accumulate a huge amount of circumstantial evidence to link Leonardo da Vinci with the Shroud and to support our theories about it. Not least, the striking resemblance between Shroud Man and Leonardo himself. But critics still pointed out that there was not one shred of solid evidence, documentary evidence, for example, to link Leonardo with the Shroud. And at the time, they were absolutely right, there wasn't. But that was then, and this is now, and now there is. And, ladies and gentlemen, we are so pleased to be able to share our landmark discovery with you. All we've done is overlay the face of the man on the shroud on the Salvatore Mundi and gradually make it more transparent so the portrait shows through and you can tell straight away whether the features of the two images match up. We haven't altered the images in any way, we haven't changed the aspect ratio, we haven't uh, stretched them or in any way manipulated them. And I think you can see that the two sets of features do correspond very precisely. If you look at the mouth, the nose, the, the arch of the eyebrows, uh, the hairline, the, the bone structure, they're all the same on the two images. Uh, we've tried this with many other images and apart from some versions of the Salvatore Mundi which were actually copied from Leonardo's original, none match up with anything like the same precision. It's hard to believe that the correspondence between the two images is just a coincidence. It means either that Leonardo painted the Salvatore Mundi directly from the Turin Shroud, which means he must have had access to the Shroud, or that he used himself as the model for Christ on the Salvatore Mundi, which supports our belief that he also used himself as the model for the man on the Shroud. Either way, it shows an intimate connection between Leonardo and the Turin Shroud. This is a major breakthrough discovery that changes the accepted view of the Shroud of Turin, but it also changes how we see Leonardo the artist, and to us, perhaps more importantly, how we see Leonardo the man. But the story just gets better. We said that we believe that Leonardo created the Shroud of Turin using a basic photographic technique. Could he possibly have left a clue about that in the Salvatore Mundi? Other depictions of the theme show Jesus holding a solid orb. In Leonardo's version, it's a crystal sphere. Now we know that he was an expert lens maker. Could this crystal sphere be referring to the lens he used to create the Turin Shroud?
Frankly, the real Leonardo da Vinci that emerges from all our work is one that art historians are definitely not comfortable with.